everybody, I'm Suresh Ramdas. My pronouns are he, him, his. And I'm super excited to be moderating this equality panel. I don't want to be like accepted or whatever. I just want to be respected like everybody else. And this for me was a very important thing. I really wanted to get mm -hmm. married. I had to ask Stan four times basically before he said yes. <laughs> I don't know why. So we got married in 2017. We did the legal marriage. Right. Just like Vihan and Rajashree, we also decided to have a big fat Indian wedding. In part, it was because we actually liked the wedding ceremony. We liked the idea of bringing friends and family together, but also because we knew that the net impact of that wedding would be that 500 people would leave that weekend and go back to wherever they were from changed. I think for, for trans people in India, we view marriage just like everyone else, right? Um, we want to marry for companionship. We want to marry for st security, for stability. But above all, as a means for social acceptance, right, from a society that does everything to alienate us otherwise. The first same-sex weddings happened 20 years ago exactly in Amsterdam. Right. And then Belgium, two years later, no one would have expected so many countries to adopt same-sex marriage in 20 years. And, and I checked this morning, no, it's about 30 countries. Wow. So the good news is that these countries are increasingly diverse. Mm -hmm. It gets from Argentina to Taiwan. In South Africa and Belgium. So these countries have nothing in common, which means that if tomorrow India wants to adopt, or China, if they want to adopt same-sex marriage, it's possible. Marriages are made in heaven. And I'm, yeah. I'm very positive that we will definitely see heaven in India with uh, <laughs> marriage, marriage equality getting accepted. And uh, we, will, we will definitely win. And uh, I'm very optimistic about it. So please catch it at Kashish 2021.